guys, it's me, Tamala. Um, today we're actually going to do something a little bit more difficult than what I started out with. So um, basically, I'm going to go ahead and start with my white eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and make a line right in the middle, going upwards. And I'm going back and forth because it's easier on your eye that way. It doesn't have to look perfect. You're just going to want to have like a white line in the middle. Going upwards, after that, I'm going to go ahead and use a black pencil. Um, and you're going to start drawing inside the first corner. You don't have to touch the white because you're going to fix that later. But just fill it in. Um, on the other side, I went ahead and winged it out a little bit. So basically, you're just going to go ahead and use your pencil kind of like as a guide of where the wing is going to be. Usually, it's towards the end of your eyebrow. You can use that as a little map. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue the circle downwards. I'm just basically following a line. It's going to make a little circle, but this side's a little bit higher because it's going to be a wing. So you're not going to want to connect to it totally because it's going to go out. She's just going to stop like right below it. It doesn't have to look perfect. Like I said, we're going to fix that. And just go ahead and start filling that, that in as well. Okay, so basically, um, the first color I'm going to use is a, like a highlighter neon green. I can't actually show it to you because I broke it prior to um, doing this video, but um, this is the exact same brand. It's from um, Rebel, and I think I bought it at Hot Topic. It's roughly like $6.00. I'm going to use the lighter color because you're going to want to use the lighter color first so it doesn't blend into the black whenever you're trying to use the black eyeshadow. Kind of like whenever you're using Crayola markers back in the day and you colored yellow over black and it looks all ugly and stupid. <laughs> By the way, you don't have to use a specific color. Um, you can use any color you want. I just wanted to use a color that was really stark uh, so you could see the difference between the black and the green. Okay, for the black, I'm actually not going to use a brush. I'm going to use one of the little, um, the little makeup sponges. I'm going to go ahead and use um, the sponge to kind of fill in the black. And as you can see, um, it's not really a straight line. It's a little bit curved. So if you want to, you can actually straighten it out a little bit with the, with the um, eyeshadow if you have a steady hand. But if you don't, then you can actually use black eyeliner. If you can't draw a line because you're not very good at um, keeping it stable, then you can just make little brush strokes going downwards, kind of like this. And that's a little bit easier to control. I'm going to go ahead and finish kind of drawing in the rest of it. Um, what I did was I made a little line continuing the circle across. So I'm going to go ahead and continue that one. Some people put on their concealer first, but I don't particularly like to do that. Because you're going to get like that dark stuff. Also, if you're using black and it tends to kind of stain your cheeks and you can't just brush it off with your hand, um, a really easy way to get it off is like um, baby wipes. Um, they have like soap or something in them, so if you just kind of brush them like that, it'll just come right off. 
I'm going to go ahead and take my white eyeliner again. And to kind of get this green line under here, I'm going to show you how to do that. You just basically make a line under your eye. And then you're going to take the green color or whatever color that you're choosing to use and you're just going to kind of pat it on the white towards the middle you're going to kind of sweep it because you don't want too much on the inside it's kind of okay if it's more towards here basically you're just going to get black eyeliner you can use a pencil if you're not really experienced with liquid but I tend to like liquid a little bit more because it's a little bit more um, stark um, it's more definite against brighter colors especially it doesn't look very cloudy or it doesn't really bleed at all it's just a straight black line which makes a really pretty dramatic look if you're learning how to do liquid liner um, you can use the, the pencil first and then put the liquid over it which I like to do if I'm using the white eyeliner in kind of a, a matte color that's a little bit more dry because um, it doesn't sweep over the eye as smoothly as it does with a lot of other eye colors so I like to go ahead and use both sometimes but today I'm actually only going to use the liquid and I'm going to do it on the bottom as well you don't have to do it on the bottom if you don't want to but it does make a really clean look usually afterwards I tend to use like a white um, just a, a simple white frost cheap pretty much you can get it anywhere for like two dollars um, right here on the uh, brow bone to highlight the brow sometimes if you have dark brows you can even line your eyebrows a little bit even though I have really dark brows um, of course you're going to want to finish up with mascara you can kind of tell the difference in this video this one has mascara and this one doesn't so you can actually it just gives it a little bit more pop makes it more defined if you have any questions or anything like that or if you have any requests um, just let me know by the way um, my lip color is actually um, from uh, Victoria's Secret it's from Beauty Rush it's called Punchy it's actually a very very pretty pretty bright fuchsia it doesn't look as bright as it does um, in the video but it's actually very very bright pink and accents the green really well kind of like watermelon -y. Um, so anyway go ahead and let me know if you need anything have any questions at all just um, let me know thank you